everybody, it's Mimi here and welcome back to Geek Lifeful. Since the new Alice movie is being released this weekend, I wanted to do an Alice themed tutorial. And you might have guessed by now that I really love the tea party scenes. Of course, my love for food rodents and fancy pastries has nothing to do with it. Nothing. So today I'll show you how to make a cute Charlotte necklace, inspired by the one on the table in the tea party scene. And yes, I watched the trailer way too many times. So have fun and here we go! For this project you will need a small round container or cookie cutter, an X-Acto knife, a rolling pin, a mold maker kit, extra fine glitter, some glue, fine sandpaper, paint brushes, soft pastels, a glue on veil, pastel green and purple clay, dough colored clay, yellow clay, tan clay, baby oil, popsicle sticks, translucent liquid sculpey, some ribbon, and some glaze. First, roll out a thick layer of dough colored clay. Then cut out the cake with a small round container or cookie cutter. To make the cookies around the cake, take a small piece of dough colored clay, roll a little snake, then flatten it with the sides of an X-Acto knife. Then cut out a very thin and narrow strip and stick it around the cookie. Make sure that your cookie is just a little bit taller than your cake. Then you can cook it and make a mold out of it to help you make the other cookies. Or you can all do them by hand by using the previous technique. Now texture all the cookies with your fine sandpaper, then color them with yellow and orange soft pastels. Cover them in TLS and dip them in the glitter. Bake the cake and the cookies for 5 minutes. Now make some yellow frosting by mixing yellow clay, TLS and baby oil. For more detailed instructions on how to make the frosting, you can check the links in the description box below. Now spread a thick layer of frosting on top of your cake. Make a rose by flattening little petals and sticking them around the base until it's the size you want it to be. Then cut out some thin little leaves and texture them with your needle tool or X-Acto knife. Bake the leaves on the flower for 5 minutes. Trim the bottom of the flower while it's still hot. Then stick them on top of your cake by adding a bit more frosting. Bake it for 5 minutes. Spread a thin layer of frosting on the side of the cake and stick the cookies by adding a bit more TLS on the back. Now bake the whole cake for 30 minutes. Once it's baked, you can add your layer of glaze. Once the glaze on your cake is dry, you can tie a little ribbon around it and secure it with some glue. Now glue the bail on the back of the cake. Now slip a ribbon through the bail and cut it the length that you want your necklace to be. There you go! Now you're all ready for a mad tea party with your Alice themed necklace. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I also wanted to thank you guys for 500 subs. It's amazing! And thanks so much to my friend Jackie for the collab she did with me. And if you're not already part of the 500 squad, then I'll let you in on a little secret. Just click on the subscribe button and BOOM! You're part of the squad! Also, I love talking to you guys in the comments, so please feel free to tell me your food related suggestions. Have a great day and God bless you! Bye! And fancy paste frame. <laughs> Related tutorials. Suggestions. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I guess that's not what's going on.